Wow. With just a couple more days to go in the 2024 legislative session, Minnesota lawmakers are in a race against the clock to get some high priority bills pushed across the finish line. Our Rob Olson joins us live from the Capitol, where Rob, it seems like lawmakers are once again stuck on just one bill. Yeah, uh, you know, you can tell uh, usually on Friday uh, at five o'clock in the Capitol, it's a ghost town here, far from it now. So you can tell it is the end of this session. It'll be busy all weekend. A lot of optimism uh, today that some of the major issues like Uber, Lyft, cannabis, uh, sports betting could still be addressed. The bonding bills out there too. But once again today, as you mentioned, one bill, one constitutional amendment really held things up yet again. Equal rights for age, equal rights for religion matter, and they cannot be left out. For hour after hour on Friday came amendment after amendment in the House by Republican lawmakers. Groups of people who are protected in our Human Rights Act have been left out of the constitutional amendment. This came during the debate on the Equal Rights Amendment to the state constitution that Republicans have sharply opposed all session for enshrining abortion protections, repeatedly trying to modify it Friday to add religious and age protections too. Republicans have been trying to delay this debate all week. This is how Wednesday night's floor session ended. Those opposed, Madam please Speaker, say no. I move to sign it up. Madam Speaker, Motion division. Prevails. The House stands adjourned. Republicans angry when Speaker Hortman ended an eight-hour filibuster on a different bill that had been used as a delay tactic for the ERA debate that day. And Friday's session then began with this testy exchange. With, again, the chaos that was brought forward on Wednesday night, um, if we could be respected as the minority in this body to be allowed to vote. Respect and courtesy are a two-way street. What also remains to be done by Monday is a bonding bill, $890 million for infrastructure that Republicans say they support, but will only vote for if the ERA amendment is dropped. I think this is a really important moment for us. I have been very frustrated that the Republicans would try and condition a vote on infrastructure at the expense of our freedoms and our civil rights. After more than four hours of uh, debate on amendments to the Equal Rights Amendment, it was laid on the table to move on to the Reed Act, which they've been currently now debating in the House floor. So no indication when they might get back to the Equal Rights Amendment debate. But again, a lot of things being held up. Well, that takes up so much time, at least on the House side. Now, Uber Lyft, that is uh, another issue that was supposed to be on the agenda for the House today. Never got to it. I talked to a lobbyist with Uber who said that they won't get to it probably until tomorrow, if not Sunday. But he said that uh, negotiations are ongoing and agreement is close. How close, they asked him. He said probably pennies at this point. So uh, fairly confident an Uber Lyft agreement will get done, a rideshare agreement uh, that the companies will agree to and will get passed before the deadline late Sunday night at, at just before midnight. Again, a lot going on. It'll be a busy weekend. Live at the Capitol, Rob Olson, Fox 9. All right, Rob.